Hey, what's up everyone? Rex Miba here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a PS1 emulator on your Steam Deck. All right, first things first, you want to go into the Discover and you want to search up Duck Station. All right, here it is. Duck Station, this one is the PS1 emulator for Linux. You want to do that is install that. All right, the next thing you want to do is open up Steam. And then go to your library. You want to add a game, and you're going to do add a non-Steam game. Once you do that, this will come up. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to add Duck Station. I already have it added, so it's not going to show up for me here. It's going to say Duck Station non-GUI. You want to basically hit that and then add selected program. We're not going to select Duck Station QT. We're going to be doing... Duck Station non GUI. So it would look like this basically. So when I search it up, this is the one you want to add. So once you add a non Steam game on Steam, this would show up for you. Obviously, it's not showing up for me because I already have it added right here. All right. So once you have it added there, you want to basically get into the game itself. So basically, uh, once it's there, I'll have Duck Station here. I'll show you how to set up the icons and stuff like that afterwards. So what you want to do is hit play so what it's going to do it's going to be cropped up for you if it uh if it's not i'm basically going to show you how to uh, set it up so it's ready to go on your uh, steam deck side so bear with me i have to use my mouse for this because sometimes the clicker okay so maybe the buttons work for this all right let's give it a shot so what you want to do is go to settings yep a button doesn't work all right we're going to use my mouse try to find the mouse okay settings uh, you want to start in full screen mode if it's not selected already. So like that, when you have it on your Steam Deck side, it'll be on uh, basically full screen. All right, and then hide cursor on full screen. Basically have everything selected. Everything should be selected already. Um, I didn't really have anything to configure here. Uh, game um, library. Basically, I have all my games selected into a folder. Uh, so... Um, I have it basically here. So I have a uh, home. So the second uh, directory home deck games, and then I have a PlayStation folder. That's basically where I put my, um, all my, uh, ROMs in. So you basically just do is add directory and then you just find your, um, basically your file. Uh, so, so for example, if it's there as well, so you want to go, uh, parent directory, you just keep hitting it. So then you go to like deck. Then you would go to, for example, if you want to put it in your documents folder, just have like a ROMs folder, PlayStation ROMs folder, you could do that. And then once you have it there, you just say, use this directory. All right. So and then after that, uh, region auto detect, I just have that on. Um, didn't really change anything here. Everything else seems to be the same here. Um, next one. Emulation speed 100, fast forward speed unlimited, turbo speed unlimited. Didn't really change much here. BIOS, this is where you're going to put your BIOS. Um, I put my BIOS in my games folder. That you're going to have to find online and obviously the games as well. I can't really link you or show you where to find the games. Just Google them. That's all you can do. All right, so the next part is the important part. This is how you configure your Steam Deck controller. I have mine set up as analog controller. Uh, I've had people say they set up as a digital controller. I've tried that. For some reason, it just didn't work for me. You can try either digital or analog controller. For me, analog worked best. So basically, uh, once you have that set up, you just go down the line and then set up your controller on your Steam Deck. So basically, up button, you want to set up your D-pad, um, your select start, obviously your... Um, your windows and your option buttons on the Steam Deck. Triangle obviously is going to be your top button, which is Y. Cross button is A. Circle button is B. And then square button is X. And then L1, R2, L1, R, L1, L2, R1, R2, self explanatory. L3, R3 is going to be your sticks. You just press that down. Analog button. Uh, didn't really do anything with that. I think that's already just automatic. And then these are going to be your. Um, your sticks to set those up vibration rumble i didn't really do anything with that um everything else seems to be self-explanatory didn't really do much here and then let's see this one is 
key. So basically, this one is just uh, keyboard buttons. I have uh, set up a key for uh, fast forward. So basically, uh, let's see. I think it is a turbo button, but for some reason, it says nine binding here. Fast forward. So I have a fast forward button set to mine because some of the games I play are very tedious and very slow. So I just like to play it quick. Some of them are Digimon games where you just have to do a lot of grinding. Even any games on PlayStation, if you have to do a lot of grinding, I have a uh, fast forward button. So it just speeds up everything for that. I'll show you how to set that one up as well. Uh, memory card. Uh, basically, I didn't really do much on this. It just set itself up. It just tells you where the memory card location is. So that one's going to be in the Duck Station uh, file directory that it's set up. GPU render, I have it under OpenGL, borderless full screen, enable VSync, I have that set up. So just in case if you play on a monitor, uh, if you have a VSync compatible monitor, uh, refresh rate, host rear, I didn't really do much else here. Linear upscaling, I have that up if that's not up for you. Everything else is pretty standard. I didn't really do anything else here. I mean, you can still copy what I have here as well. Uh, audio, I didn't really do anything here. Everything in should be self-explanatory. Everything else here. All right, so if you're all set up here, basically you're going to exit. So now that we have that set up on Steam, if you want to add custom icons, I basically use this website. I'll link that in the description. It's called steamgriddb.com. So basically let's go into the beginning part. So as if you're going to that yourself, what you can do is search up Duck Station and then click Duck Station Emulator. So basically, uh, these uh, are icon sets. And um, let's see, I have a folder here. Nope, oh, sorry. I have a folder here. So basically, you have a cover image, a banner image, and an icon. All right, so now to get this thing set up, to add custom icons and sets over here, basically what you want to do is right-click this, go to Properties, and then hit this uh, icon so it's going to be grayed out for you. You want to do that, and then I just named it just for convenience. So I have my desktop here and then my PS1 folder right here. So Duck Station icon, you hit that, open, so and then the icon will be there. And then um, basically you want to go to uh, Library here, so it'll show your recent games. You want to right click this. You want to set custom artwork. So this one is going to be that uh, banner image. So let's go to my desktop again. This one is the banner. All right, so that is the banner icon there, or the banner image. And then to set up the other image, so you see how these right here, how that looks. Uh, let's see. What I usually do is I'll just launch another game. And so it gets pushed onto the second area. So I'll do that real quick. All right. So now that it's pushed off to the side over here. So you'll see Duck Station here. You go to Manage. You want to, um, same thing. You want to, uh, it'll say Add Custom Artwork. Mine says Clear because I've added already. So you want to do that. And then obviously go to your little folder where you add your images. And then it'll have it right here. All right, so and then that will be set up for the Steam Deck side. So basically, now that it's all configured here, should be all good to go. So now what we're going to do is going to close this out. We're going to back into the Steam Deck side. So you want to do return to game mode. All right, so we'll hit that. All right, now that we're on the Steam Deck side, we'll have Duck Station over here. So we'll hit that. So now you should see a banner icon on top, and then obviously you'll have your... Um, icon or a banner image there as well. So first thing, if you want to set up a custom, uh, basically a hotkey or something to fast forward, for example. Um, so I have a uh, gamepad joystick over here. Uh, basically what I have is the escape key for the back button. So the L4 button is, so basically it gets you to the menu and then I have R4 for the keypad that gives me the uh, fast forward. So, and then we'll go to play. Okay, so now that we're in Duck Station, you should be able to control your, uh, basically the whole emulator pretty easily. Um, 
So if you want to, I don't really think you have to start BIOS. This is already should be, if it's on the same folder, it should already detect it automatically. So if you want to uh, basically search for your games, you go open game list. So these are, should be your games here. I'll have, um, I have two games already over here. So just to give it a uh, go, let's go to Digimon World 3. Sometimes it will load up your last play as well, or it will just restart the game as if you were uh, playing it for the first time again. So we'll go into it. All right, so basically what it did for me is it uh, started back to where I was uh, playing originally before I turned it off. So, all right, so we got it here. So I have the back button as the fast forward. So now you see that's fast forward. So I can like run around and do some battles real quick without having to, oh, my Renamon is a uh, low health. So let's tag her out. We'll go fast forward real quick. We'll send out Greymon. So you'll have like, um, basically when you're uh, playing the game as well, it will fast forward the music as well. So I'll fast forward this real quick just to give you a uh, an example. Nope, doesn't have any abilities. All right, we're gonna go back. We're just gonna fight Quagamon. All right, boom, dead. All right, awesome. All right, so then that is the fast forward button. The other button, the other uh, back button, I have it set up to basically the menu icon. So basically once you're like, for example, you're done playing, you want to save state, load state, or you want to uh, just go back. So reset the system. So basically if anything happens to the game itself, you just reset it to, you know, as if you're rebooting the system. Then exit game, and then you can go back to the game list and start another game. So want to go to Digimon World 2. All right, so back to where I ended too. So obviously it saves your save state. So basically you don't have to restart the game over again. So basically you just go back into the game and it's just where you left off, which is great. This is what I love about Duck Station. Exit game. Everything should be set up here as well. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. If you like these type of videos, let me know and I will we'll do more of these because, you know, the Steam Deck is my favorite type of system right now. Just remember, hit that notification bell if you like these type of videos so you'll get notified on the next Steam Deck video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.